Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve the linear programming problem with the help of the graphical method. Now look at the problem maximization z is equal to 400x1 plus 1000x2. This is the objective function and there are three constraints. First constraint is 12x1 plus 6x2 less than equal to 6000. Second constraint is 4x1 plus 10x2 less than equal to 4000. And third constraint is 2x1 plus 3x2 less than equal to 1800 and decision variable x1 x2 greater than equal to 0. Now this LVP we are going to solve with the help of the graphical method. Therefore first step is convert your constraint into the equation and find out the two point from each equation. One is for on x axis and one is for on y axis and in order to draw the line on the graph. Now we will take this first constraint 12 x1 plus 6 x2 less than equal to 600. We will convert this into the equation. Now here our equation is equal to 12 x1 plus 6 x2 is equal to 600. Now for two points, first of all put x1 is equal to 0. Suppose if we put x1 is equal to 0 in the equation, then 6 x2 is equal to 6000. Therefore x2 is equal to 1000. Therefore, therefore our first point is 0 and 1000. For the second point, put x2 is equal to 0. Therefore x1 is equal to 6000 by 12 and x1 is equal to 500 therefore second point is 500 and 0 uh, we will move to the next constraint we will convert that into the equation and we will find out the two points second constraint is 2 second constraint is 4x1 plus 10x2 less than equal to 4000 convert this constraint into the equation 4x1 plus 10x2 is equal to 4000 first put x1 is equal to 0 therefore 10 x2 is equal to 4000 x2 is equal to 400 0 and 400 therefore first point is 0 and 400 and for second point put x2 is equal to 0 therefore 4 x1 is equal to 4000 therefore x1 is equal to 1000 and the second point is 1000 and 0 after this we want two points from third constraint third constraint is 2x1 plus 3x2 less than equal to 1800 convert this constraint into the equation therefore our equation is 2x1 plus 3x2 is equal to 1800 for first point put x1 is equal to 0 therefore 3x2 is equal to 1800 x2 is equal to 600 therefore x2 is equal to 600 and our first point is 0 and 600 second put x2 is equal to 0 now therefore 2x1 is equal to 1800 and x1 is equal to 900 therefore second point is 900 and 0 now after this discussion i would like to summarize the two point from each constraint our first constraint was 12x1 plus 6x2 less than equal to 6000 and we got the 2.0 1000 and 500 and 0 second constraint was 4x1 plus 10x2 less than equal to 4000 the two points we got first is 0 400 and second is 1000 and 0 the third constraint was 2x1 plus 3x2 less than equal to 1800 the first point was 0 and 600 and 900 and 0 now we will plot all these points on graph and we will draw the lines for the constraint for the first constraint two points are 0 and 1000 and 500 and 1000 1000 in on uh, 1000 is on y axis and 500 is on x axis 1000 is on y axis it means here and 500 on x axis means here now we have joined the two points this is the line for constant 1 for second constant 400 on y axis and 1000 on x axis 400 here on y axis and 1000 400 on y axis and 1000 on x axis now this is the second line for the second constraint for third constraint first point is 600 on y axis and second point 900 on x axis uh, 600 on y axis means here and 900 on x axis means here in this way we have plot all the points on the graph and we have drawn lines for the constraint now here we want to find out the feasible region now for the feasible region uh, less than equal to sign playing a very important role for all the constraint we have a less than equal to sign less than equal to sign means your feasible region for each line is towards the origin below the line or towards the origin therefore for each line uh, we will get the feasible region is towards the origin and here we will get the common feasible region 
Suppose if we draw this graph on the paper, then we will get this type of the graph. Now you can see the feasible region, it is towards the origin. O, A, B, C is the feasible region. These are the extreme point of the feasible region. And if you see the point, O is 0, 0, A is 0, 400, B is 375 and 250, and C is 500 and 0. Now we will put this all the coordinators into the objective function. Here we want to here we want to maximize the objective function. Our objective function is maximization. Z is equal to 400 into x1 plus 1000 into x2. Suppose if we put the first coordinator that is 0, 0 into the objective function, then we will get the 0 value. Uh, if we put the second coordinator A, 0, 400 into the objective function, then our objective function value is 4 lakh. If we put the third coordinator, if we put the third point that is 375 and 250, into the objective function then again we will get the 4 lakh uh, value of the objective function if we put the last quad last extreme point of the feasible region that is 500 and 0 then we will get the 2 lakh value of the objective function therefore the value of the objective functions are 0 4 lakh 4 lakh and 2 lakh this objective function is for the maximization therefore we will select the maximize objective function value and here maximize objective function value is 4 lakh and 4 lakh means at the two point at point b and at point a therefore here we can say that the maximum value of the objective function z is equal to 4 lakh and it occurs at two point first point is 0 400 or 375 and 250 now in this problem we got the maximum value at the two points means we got the maximum value at the multiple Point, therefore we call it a multiple optimum solution.